Welcome to another MTD Technical Corner. Now today we've been joined by Richard Mason from the Zimmer Group UK. Um, he's been very kind to come down to the studio with all of these really cool looking products. Look at all of these grippers. Um, now, obviously from this being robot grippers, we're gonna be talking about automation today. Um, now Richard, first of all, what is automation? Why would someone wanna be interested in automation? Um, so automating would be the process of removing a manual element from a machine or process. So in CNC, for example, it could be loading, setting devices. Uh, you can replace that easily with a robot by loading parts in and out of the machine. And why would, I mean, automation projects, as, as I'm sure quite a lot of the manufacturers we, we, um, uh, that watch these videos know, they, they, they take a lot of time and cost investment. They're a huge investment. And it's different to just buying a machine tool that gives you more capacity. Why would someone start an automation uh, project? Um, well, in order to um, increase productivity, really, of a machine uh, or process. So by having a robot there, um, you, you, you can keep that robot running at all times. It doesn't take breaks. It'll just continue to service the machine. So you could be loading billets in and out, for example, of a lathe. Yeah, and doing that lights out completely. You could do it overnight or over a weekend. Absolutely, yeah. Brilliant. Um, and what is Zimmer's role in automation? You've got loads of grippers here, but it's not just grippers. In general, how do you support automation in the manufacturing industry? Um, so, as a supplier, um, Zimmer Group, we provide uh, components for use in automation uh, for our customers to put into their machines or builds. We also do full uh, gripper systems as well. So, uh, we can supply, for example, uh, a gripper which a customer will then uh, put jaws and an adapter plate on in order to fit it to a robot, uh, or we can take uh, the whole responsibility for that and provide a finished solution. Yeah, and we're looking at on the back on the screen here, we've got um, engine blocks, crankshafts, and these are all bespoke systems as well. It's not just the off-the-shelf grippers. Mm. Yeah, so um, um, with the systems, we have um, a separate department to focus in that area. Uh, we send out about 60 a month, uh, complete bespoke uh, grippers. Um, we've done about 8,000 to date, so it's across all different industries. Um, it can be battery, uh, automotive. Uh, powertrain, for example, there's lots of different areas where we've provided solutions. Yeah, I mean, automation is not just kind of in the, the CNC machine shop, a matter of part of the manufacturing. Um, it's every kind of sector you guys work in. It's all coming out of your factory in Germany. Yeah. Um, and so does that cover if people have got weird components like strange shape cast parts, fragile components with thin walls, different materials like plastics get it easily broken. Can you still cover all of those kind of requirements? Yeah, absolutely. We have um, we have a wide range of um, of different uh, gripper components which we can use as the base in order to build a gripper system. Uh, so it could be uh, any norm number of components uh, put together running simultaneously. So uh, we, we've done grippers for for castings, fragile parts, that kind of thing. Um, so rather than a customer, you know, taking that risk and spending the time designing their own gripper, uh, we can obviously help and advise in that area. But we can take the whole um, risk away by, by taking that responsibility of the process and doing a complete uh, finished guaranteed solution. And once that solution has been delivered, how does um, an end user know that they're, or even an integrator, the ones who help use these products in their automation designs, how do they know that the system is going to be reliable, the resulting system? Well, we have, um, we have lots of different grippers for, um, for different applications. So Typically for like a um, CNC machine where the environment's tough, there's, um, there's swarf, there's cu uh, cutting fluid. Um, you can even generate like grinding dust, those kind of applications. We do um, a gripper with completely sealed guys called the GPP uh, 5000 series. Um, that's uh, 30 million cycles maintenance free. So, so it's a very long life, very hard wearing uh, gripper and, it, and it'll just keep going and going. Um, for flexibility, we do uh, servo grippers. So, so with a servo gripper, you can approach a part in very close proximity because uh, you can stop the gripper fingers along any uh, part of the stroke. Um, it also has a control module on board, so you can store different recipes. So you can reconfigure things like the gripping force uh, between different components, whether you're gripping them solely on force or whether you're just tessellating them in order to uh, handle them quite delicately. And by tessellator, you mean you kind of bring the grippers together just to, uh, together and then they're going to lift up the component without putting any force on it. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so for example, where, um, where, where the part suits, for example, with a, a shaft or something like that, you can see with the jaws here, they've got a, a slight underlight round. You can actually get around the part and then you get extra security when gripping um, 
but but also um, fragile parts. For example, you'd be able to to handle by limiting uh, the actual stroke of the gripper rather than applying constant force. Absolutely, and. 30 million cycles is absolutely huge for a small component like this to be doing it that many times. Um, God knows how you test that. It must be some running in the German factory in the testing facility 24 hours a day to make sure that that, that figure's correct. Uh, they're all tested and, and they will actually also go, uh, go beyond that. So we have automated testing. Uh, with the GPP 5000 series, we, we've, um, we do our IP67 version, which is submersible up to a meter underwater uh, without any ingress. Um, we, we had a sample at an exhibition set up running and it was on like, I think, um, 60,000 cycles plus, uh, so, sorry, 60 million cycles plus. Um, so yeah, they will, they will just keep going. They and keep going. going and going. And that's a big consideration for the future of your automation system. Now, how do people know that the automation system is going to be future-proofed? Um, so it's a very important part is, um, so you want to do a, a solution that's going to suit obviously what you're doing, but if, if you if you see a lot of variation in the products going through, something like a servo gripper can be really useful because you, um, you can reconfigure it whether you're gripping on external surfaces, internal surfaces, and r write and set up a very specific gripper profile according to uh, the, the part or, or different part that you're handling. And the solutions for cobot applications too with tool changing. Um, if you've watched any part of this video and you think some of these grippers uh, or gripping solutions might be interesting, then you can check out, there's a special part of the website in Zimmer Group you can check out. Yeah, so we have, um, we, we have an online expo where you can see uh, information about all of the different gripper components and, and the range. So there's lots of things to see like uh, not just the grippers but ancillary parts. So for example, we do a range of standard angle flanges uh, which um, has all the holes pre-drilled and the flange plate so you can easily deploy uh, two grippers at an angle for load and load of a machine, for example, rather than uh, fabricating a custom part to do that, the parts are modular and already available. Yep, there's a huge range from Zimmer Group UK, both off the shelf and bespoke projects. Make sure you check out their virtual showroom uh, to find out more. Mm -hmm.